Welcome to Richard Suttmeyer's Four and Four. Four blips on my radar screen presented in four minutes or less. My first blip looks at rising mortgage rates, the collateral damage from the TARP. The yield on the U.S. Treasury 10-year note is above 4% despite the Federal Reserve rate cut to 1.5% from 2%. The 10-year Fannie Mae spread widened 12.5 basis points versus Treasuries on Tuesday to 102 basis points. The 30-year fixed rate mortgage, which was at 5.25% in January, is 6.47% this morning. Fannie and Freddie need to raise capital to start buying $40 billion in toxic mortgage securities. Two factors to blame are directly related to TARP. The FDIC is guaranteeing bank debt for three years. Soon TARP will be buying toxic mortgages as well, and the government will have to raise money to do so. TARP is crowding out homeowners who need to refinance mortgages at lower rates or default. Default leads to foreclosures, creating more toxic loans, continuing the vicious cycle of the great credit crunch. My second blip looks at lower crude oil prices, which has reached my $75 price target this morning. The daily chart for crude oil shows an extreme oversold condition, and oil is trading below my zone of annual pivots at 78 spot 40 and 76 spot 30. The weekly chart for crude shows the importance of the 200-week simple moving average at 74.90. We traded below that this morning. This was my target when I made the call, $75 before 200. Crude oil has had weekly closes above the 200-week simple moving average since the week of October 3, 2003. A trend below would be a signal of slowing global demand and warns of pending recession. My third blip reminds you that more bad loans will evolve during the great credit crunch. Credit card debt is approaching a trillion. Home equity loans have surged to $647 billion at the end of the second quarter, up 12.2% year over year. Homeowners are now having lines of credit rescinded and pinched consumers will make payments on primary mortgages before making payments on home equity loans. Commercial real estate loans in the second quarter hit $1 trillion, up 10.3% year over year. These become vulnerable on canceled new projects for strip malls and small business offices. Vacancy rates are on the rise, which puts pressure on these loans. Constructions and development loans ended the second quarter at $627 billion, up 4.4% year over year. New homes are difficult to sell, yet banks continue to lend in an attempt to complete projects. My fourth blip reiterates that we are entering a multi-year bear market and will be in recession 2008-2009. The Dow rebounded above my weekly pivot at 95.78 this week, but the Dow has been below its 200-week simple moving average at 11,737 since the end of June. A close in, in October below the 120-month simple moving average at 10,640 single signals a multi-year bear market ending a 26-year bull market. This is what I said back in March 2007. I hate to be an alarmist, but I do not believe that the economic drag from the housing and real estate market can end without at least two quarters in a row of negative GDP growth. I would not be surprised if GDP in current dollars is lower in 2009 than in 2008, and that has not happened very frequently, 1929 to 1933, 1945, 1946, 1948, 1949. So most of us have not seen this in our lifetime. To subscribe to my newsletters, shoot me an email to gmcreports at aol.com. That's today's 4 and 4. Enjoy your day.